Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design, and this is the MSR Mini Works EX ceramic water filter. Uh, I'm going to run through the basic operation of this. I'm no expert on it, but I've used it enough times, so I think I understand it. Now, I used to have a paper filament water filter with a charcoal center in it. And that works fine. It actually pumps a little faster and gets a little more water through it than these ceramic filters do. But here's the difference and the reason why I don't carry it anymore. Uh, the paper water filters, if you happen to get into a dirty spot with silt in it or something and pull silt into the filter, it'll plug the paper filter fairly quickly. Now, these filters aren't designed to be clean. Some people can clean them a little bit and get by, but if you really plug one up you're pretty much done and the reason why you can't clean them is there's a cage over them to prevent you from cleaning them and even if you did the chances of punching a hole in the paper are pretty good and if you get one little pinhole in the paper it's not a filter anymore it's certainly not a two micron filter anymore it's like a one sixteenth of an inch filter so that pretty much ruins it and I'm not even sure you would really know that you had the hole in there so it's really not a good idea to try to clean the paper filters so I went to a ceramic filter and here's why uh, this is a ceramic filter element now what this is is this is about a quarter of an inch thick three eighths of an inch thick ceramic material with 0.2 micron holes all through it billions of them now it's important to remember that it's 0.2 microns not 2 microns a lot of people will buy filters and think they've got a really good filter that's two microns and that's just what it is. It's ten times bigger holes in it than this one. This is point two, two tenths of a micron where a, a two micron filter will not take out a lot of things that will make you sick. This will take out just about everything. Now the beauty of this filter is if you get dirt into it, it'll of course it's not going to go all the way through the two micron holes, it's just going to plug the very face of them just like it does on a paper filter. The difference is with this, if it does get plugged up, you use this to lightly scrub the surface. And what you do is you scrub off the top surface of the filter. You actually abrade the filter and make it a little bit smaller. And that takes away all the material that's actually plugged and you've got a new filter again. Now you can do this like 25 to 50 times. And what comes right with the filter is this rig right on the clean cap on the bottom. It's designed to check to see if your filter is getting too thin. You'd probably notice it just by looking at it because you'd, you'd see that it's not a, a nice straight edge anymore. You'd notice it's starting to get bellied out in the middle. But by using this, you can see that when this snaps over the filter, then the filter is ready to be replaced. And you can see this has got a long ways to go before. It will probably be, can be cleaned another 20-25 times easily. So that having been said, Let's move on to step two, putting this back together. Oh, the old ring goes down and it sets into place. Then you screw the head on. And there's an O-ring in here. There's all kinds of O-rings in this. Now when you're storing it, this cap with the size gauge goes around right on the bottom to keep the bottom clean. Now when you want to use it, you take this off and set it aside. And it's designed to be screwed right onto a 32 ounce wide mouth Nalgene bottle, which is pretty handy because you can be pumping with it and you don't have to hang onto your bottle to hold it between your knees, it's right on there. Now, if the water is really bad and say you're in a place where there's no water except a, a big pool or a pool and it's got leaves in it got acorns or whatever, maybe it's got tannic acid, whatever. Uh, what I do is I carry this. A lot of people don't, but I do because I don't like bad taste in water. This is uh, another charcoal filter. This uh, original filter doesn't have charcoal in it. So what I do is I, if I can show you here, and then I put this in my bottle, and then I pump. I pump right through that and that sweetens the water up quite a bit. If you've got some nasty water, that, that'll make it pretty drinkable by using the charcoal. Okay, now, 
One of the odd things about this is that uh, it's, it's not a real fast pumping filter. I didn't find it to be anywhere as fast as the paper filters because this filter offers quite a bit more resistance. But to offset that, they've come up with uh, an air trap system. And what you do is you uh, put this in the water and you adjust it so that this is below the surface, this pre-filter is below the surface, but it, it doesn't touch bottom where it can pick up residue. So you can slide this float back and forth to get the depth you want. And once you get that set, put the other part on here. Very simple. Silicone tubing. And begin pumping. Now once the filter's purged itself and got all the air out and got full of water, they recommend lifting this out of the water so that it'll be sucking air and pumping this five to ten times until you can see visible air bubbles right through this plastic right in your filter. Now you're asking yourself why in the world would you want to do that? <laughs> well, uh, this filter only pumps in one direction so when you pull the handle back it sucks in water when you push it forward this valve collapses and the butterfly valve opens and it pushes it down through the filter. So under normal circumstances this is pumping water and this stroke is nothing, it's just a return stroke. But, when you have air in here and you start pumping, that air gets pressurized. And you've actually got pressurized air right in this cylinder. And the butterfly valve keeps it from escaping back out. So under those circumstances, when you pump in, you pump water down into the filter. And then on your back stroke, when the butterfly valve closes, the pressurized air in there continues to push water through while you're making your next stroke. So in reality, you've got water pressure on the filter, filtering water all the time, whether you're pumping or not. You can actually stop pumping in the pressurized air and they will keep the water going through the filter. So it, it makes the filter about twice as uh, efficient by doing it that way. Now, uh, I showed you the pad that you scrubbed. I just happened to see this later. This is the pad that you scrub the filter with. It comes right with it. It's just a standard abrasive pad that you can buy right in Shop and Save or Walmart. Uh, I've tried to keep the length of this hose down to a reasonable length, probably three feet. It was a lot longer than that when I got it. But to be perfectly honest, this silicone is really heavy, so I keep it down to about three feet. I can usually get within three feet of the water easily. I think that's just about everything to do with this filter. Uh, this valve here is removable, so you can clean that. It's kind of an odd little valve. You can see it opens up on the end when it pulls and then it closes up. It's kind of a little nipple deal. Uh, very easy to maintain. And also, if you take it apart, there's a butterfly valve in here that you can just put your fingernail underneath and pick that right up and clean it if it gets a piece of dirt underneath it. Not likely to happen, but it's easily maintained. And to get this cartridge back out to clean it, you simply take the bottom end and push on it, and it comes right out. Then it can be scrubbed with this, and then washed, and then put right back together again. Fairly simple, straightforward. If I could find any fault with this filter, it's a little heavy, uh, it's a little cumbersome to pump. I'm not real crazy about it. And the darn handle catches on everything when you go to put it back in your pack. Uh, it's, it's kind of a little bit big clunky filter, but it's also bulletproof. It's really tough. I don't think you'd ever, ever actually break it. So uh, this is the one I carry now, but I, I think in the future I'm going to get one a little smaller that the pump handle is right in the top. But we'll see. This, this works fine. And, and the beauty of carrying a water filter like this is you always know you've got good water. I mean, it's, it's a pretty sure thing. As long as you're away from civilization, if you're out in the wild, this will make sure you have good water. And the option of not carrying this filter would be to carry iodine tablets, which make everything taste terrible, and actually says right on the bottle, 
not to use them on a regular basis. They, they're designed just for an emergency. This isn't so much for an emergency, it's just to keep your water filtered and keep you healthy. If you're not going to carry this, you should carry three sets of underwear, a couple of bottles of uh, Pepto Bismol, and uh, two or three fairly large rolls of toilet paper because without this, out in the main wilderness, you're going to need all that stuff and it, it weighs more than the filter and I'm not even going to get into the personal misery it's going to cost you if you get dysentery. Uh, I'm Tinny from Mini Bull Design. Keep your water clean and have a great day.